Thanks, Ken Corla. I'm not sure if the Taoiseach saw the footage from ITV in Britain last week about the practices of Amazon, which in fulfillment centers in Britain destroy sometimes up to 200,000 products a week, an average of about 124, 130,000 products. These are products that are in perfectly good conditions, from toasters to TVs to face masks, that could be used and instead are destroyed to try to maximize Amazon's profits. From January of next year, Amazon is opening its first fulfillment center in Ireland. And if they adopt the same practices, they again will be destroying, adding to landfill, hundreds of thousands of products every single week. What action is the government taking to ensure that those anti-environmental practices aren't used here? Um, Deputy Murphy, um, in terms of Amazon, I'm not, I haven't seen that program or, or that report. It is building a fulfillment center in Ireland, in Dublin, which will create uh, a significant number of jobs for, for a lot of people uh, and that can't be ignored either in the context of that investment in Dublin uh, by Amazon uh, and uh, it would uh, surely it's in their interest as it is in everybody's interest to reduce waste to reduce damage to products and I haven't seen the program so I can't comment accurately in relation to the points that you made other than to say economies evolve and, and develop um, and Amazon has grown and expanded um, at the fulfillment center in Dublin will create uh, additional jobs for people um, um, in our city and um, sorry no but it will create jobs that you'll try and, and, and those people who get the jobs you'll then try and recruit to, to your movement and anyway. that, that tends to be the, the, the cycle but I think they're important jobs to be serious about it there and but uh, in all of these operations it's important that optimal practice um, pertains uh, and prevails in respect of the minimisa minimisation of waste um, and facilitating the circular economy. The Minister will be bringing in legislation on the circular economy.